Hey guys, I'm Ethan from Ichiba Engineering and ISM here and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, some of our new developments in the turbo industry. So this is uh, basically a turbo for Subaru uh, that we're currently making. Uh, this is basically the largest Subaru turbine housing that's currently on the market. It's a 10 centimeter housing for a 62 mil turbine wheel. And the problem with this is it just doesn't make enough power and kind of uh, cut off at the top end. So we're going to develop a housing that will be a bit fatter here. It will be a bit wider and going to enlarge basically to around 14 centimeters or around 80.82 AR. That's one thing. And as part of this, um, the current housing market, this is the normal housing of uh, GT28, GT25 that you can currently find. And the problem with this is, yeah, we can enlarge it to fit this turbo, but the volute area, uh, it's not the best uh, to use this one on this kind of compressor wheel. Uh, if you could see, I will later explain, is the volute here is not squared, so uh, the profile is more thin and long rather than a nice circle. Um, so this is a 3D print of a new housing that we're gonna make. It's basically in the same size of this thing. It's a three inch, so it will fit on a Subaru Inlet and it can fit right on here. Pretty nicely. And you got basically a complete turbo. This is a 66 millimeter compressor, so it will be a 66, 62. Uh, the volute here on the internal area is basically a nice smooth circle, so it's squared and it will fit nicely on this compressor and still fit in your Subaru engine. We're gonna also make our own housings uh, for the rest of the turbo lines, also speed sensor port, vacuum port, everything. Yeah, that's basically it. Now I'm gonna show you this on the computer and how we design this stuff. Hey guys, so this is um, the software we use to design the turbo uh, components. What we design here is basically the housing, the volute of the housing, of the casing itself, that's the shape. Um, so it starts from the impeller. We didn't design the impeller on this project because we already have the dimensions of it. So it's just a, a demo uh, so we can design the volute. The air comes in here, you go to the stator and inside of the volute. And like I said before, it's a square volute, it's a circle, it's not an ellipse, it's not squashed in any way, better for flow. Yep. So so we got many options here. We obviously set the initial dimensions. We can do a splitter, so we can do a uh, twin scroll, but this is a compressor housing, so we don't need that option. Uh, the cross section here, uh, like I show here, the ellipse ratio is one. If I change it to 1.2, for example, that's what you get on uh, other manufacturers' volutes. Uh, what's currently on the market? The problem with this is uh, the flow of the air is that the efficiency, there's an efficiency loss. Um, there's been a few studies over this. So uh, most manufacturers do this in order to save space on their turbocharger sizes, the casing. Uh, but in this case, we just go for one, which works for us uh, dimensions wise. Then we can go to the spiral where it is. Basically, this is the progression. We can say the progression, so we know it starts smaller, larger, how it's gonna progress through the nail to the snail shape. Uh, we can also see from small, so the profile is smaller, it goes up to this size uh, by the degrees. We can, the diffuser, so the diffuser is the part that extends out of the turbo. We can also change it, we can make it radial, we can make it tangential like it's now, we can also change it how, however we want. We can move it in the Z direction, so forward and back if we want so. And the cut water, so the cut water is this thing here. It's what connects this side to this side of the volute. Um, when the impeller spins, there's being sucked in, it comes here in a circular shape and goes out. This is a very important part. In most cases, it's basically a simple cut water shape. This is a simple cut water shape. It's pretty nasty in most turbochargers, but uh, we went for the fillet type. We can change the fillet size as well. And that's pretty much it. We can also export it to a CFD software, and we're obviously gonna check the flow and uh, 
all the values that we actually need for this turbo. Once that's done, we go into Fusion and we can actually design the whole turbo, the, tur the casing itself, and see how it comes out. I'll take this one out. Yeah. So we take the volute shape that we design and we make the casing on top of it. We make the attachment for our uh, core, our CHRA cartridge, and that's what we comes out with. Now this turbine or compressor housing uh, will fit smaller size turbines, but we gonna use it in this case. So this is for example, for a, a much smaller compressor. Uh, in this case, it's like the GV2554. And in our case, we're gonna use it basically for our uh, bolt valve super turbos. Give us the ability to keep a small sized housing with a good size AR and the bigger compressor wheel. So we, we could enlarge the AR here. The AR on this housing is 0 0.6, but if we enlarge it this way, it, would, it might touch the intercooler or something in the super engine bay. So uh, we kept it this 0 0.6 AR is good enough uh, for this kind of size compression. We're not gonna do an anti-search, uh, some of you might ask why, again because if we enlarge this like other manufacturers do, uh, we will have to make a bigger inlet for the Subaru and it's very hard to fit in. This tips it at 3 inches, which is still larger than OEM, but it's much easier to fit in a car. If it's gonna be 3.25 or 3.5 inches, it's just too hard. Um, yeah. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is basically again the AR. So in this area, we can uh, so we can choose the AR here. And the difference between AR area divided by radius uh, to just the area, which is in centimeters or in millimeter square, is the area what Subaru or Mitsubishi designation is 10 centimeter, 12 centimeter, and so on. It's just the area of the profile here, while the area divided by the radius is basically the area of this shape here divided by the radius from the center point. Um, so this is a 0 0.6 AR, but it has a 9.5 centimeter area. So a lot of turbos will come with a designation of 10 centimeters, but the actually the area divided by the radius might be much smaller. Again, on the compressor housing, it's enough, but we're gonna design the turbine housing uh, with a 0.82 AR, and the centimeter gonna be around 14. It, it could be smaller, so you can have a 0.82 AR turbine housing with a 12 centimeter area, but the area doesn't tell you much about this. Uh, AR is really what you want to go for, uh, like other manufacturers do. We, we can change this AR just for an example. If we do an 82, you see this spiral kind of take a larger shape. We could also change it to a larger uh, AR, but not make it uniformly extend, but just like up or to the sides. It really depends, but we really wanted to keep a, a square profile on this volute. So this is uh, why we went for this choice. Yeah, this is uh, this is it for now, guys. Thank you for watching.